So today I want to talk about the beautiful movement that happens when we are moving in life following our resonance and following our authenticity and in the process of that as it involves other people wanting to protect their emotions <laughs> wanting to protect them from their emotions so I was in a conversation with a person yesterday and he was sharing about this experience of feeling split between moving with, with what feels true, moving with what feels like the most aligned and the most alive and staying true to his word or staying keeping his behavior such that it wouldn't hurt another person and something that I have realized quite recently is that Authenticity doesn't necessarily have anything to do with consistency. That we can feel completely true in a moment of being with someone and it feels completely right and completely aligned. And we can say things that are an expression of that alignment and of that connection. And then as life moves, and especially when we are in a path of rapid acceleration and awakening and really being fully alive and really being fully in tune and keep on expanding, then things can shift and change pretty quickly. And so in that sometimes we can find ourselves in a situation where what we said yesterday or what we said three weeks ago or what we said six months ago is no longer true. And I shared with him that in recent experiences and having gone through a lot of deep emotional layers and a lot of deep layers of fear and sadness and wanting to hold on to things and wanting things to be different and experiencing that grip of fear and then the loosening of that and the seeing through and dropping of those identifications and coming into the peace and the bliss that is on the other side of that that if the person that I was interacting with that was causing these emotions in me, if that other person had modified his behavior in such a way so that I would not have had to feel all those things, if he had modified and circumcised his authenticity so that I would not have to feel jealousy or pain or sadness or loss or anything like that then he would have denied me the opportunity to experience and to go through exactly what I needed to go through for the next layer to drop and that movement to want to take care of another person and to want to protect their emotions to protect their feelings it comes from such a tender and beautiful place of compassion and such a place of love however if we are disregarding what feels like a true truth like a true alignment in order to accommodate someone else's insecurities then we are denying that person their opportunity for growth and this doesn't mean that we then go around and purposefully and intentionally hurt people or that we go and be a dickhead and say like, oh, it's best for their growth. The pain they're experiencing now is so good for their growth, I'm actually helping them. No, that's coming from arrogance, not from clarity. What I'm talking about is finding a way to stay true to our own alignment and our own truth and to move in a way that is with full respect, with full integrity, with full care for the other person or the other people involved, to communicate from honesty, to communicate from clarity, to hold space for whatever emotions need to come up, whether that is holding space by actively being there for the other person, or seeing when it's actually more beneficial, although more challenging for them to go through it by themselves. And so to move with full love and full respect in that 
and that also speaks to a greater trust that whatever is the most aligned for you is ultimately the most aligned for the other person as well even though it might look messy or it might look like loss or it might look like jealousy or it might look like something else but life moving the pieces around and you coming into greater alignment and following that is ultimately going to be more aligned for the other person as well because that's just how it works Can you see this? Is this clear? And also when we are trying to modify our behavior so that we can protect the other person from their emotions, we are also coming from an underestimation of them. We are underestimating their ability to move through. We think that, oh, if I behave like this, he or she will be hurt and will be stuck in that. And I don't want to cause that kind of suffering to another human being. So I'm going to modify my behavior so that they don't have to feel that. We are underestimating their ability to see through the illusion of the identification with the lack of beliefs and the limited perspectives that are coming through. So this speaks to a greater trust, a greater trust in the perfection of the unfolding, both as it relates to the movement of where we are going and who we want to relate to and how, as well as the trust that every single person is taken care of. There is a higher guidance, there is a greater love that is carrying all of us. And in the same way that the seasons change and leaves are a storm comes and leaves are ripped off of a tree so that new ones can grow that are even more full of vitality, that are even more full of vibrancy. The same thing happens with us human beings. That the experience of chaos and turmoil and emotions and perceived suffering is so often exactly what is needed to be cleared out and ripped apart and made new so that we can come into what is actually more aligned. for today if there is more coming i'll just make a part two of this if you have any questions or anything related to this or any insights that came to you feel free to share in a comment below we're all taken care of it's all good it's all okay ultimately no harm is done Wish you a beautiful day.